Right. So what in the world could it be? Loud noises that sound like explosions, and they have plagued the Alhambra community for months now. Loud explosions are being reported in Alhambra, but no one knows where they're coming from. This mystery has baffled residents who really want some answers. Well, what I hear is a kind of a boom, but it's a kaboom. It's really big and strong. It's it does shake the windows. I've heard car alarms be set off. That's bizarre, right? The entire city council even heard it. And all of a sudden we hear this loud, sharp explosion. Very quick, and we all flinched. The city contacted the LA Department of Public Works and even seismologists at Caltech, but no one can figure it out. We want to know what it is, um, just so we can get to the bottom of it. Meanwhile, people in Alhambra are speculating online and looking at similar cases from across the country, including Arizona. Call it the case of the mystery booms. It's like a rumbling. I can feel it like... Boom, oh, hear that? What the hell is that? All the dogs are barking on the block. Weird. This is just bizarre. What time is it? 9-11? 912 What in the world? Can you feel like all the way shoot your shit? What is that? It's like Biologist Don Kramer is searching this small Dallas Road beach for dead seabirds, and it only takes moments to find them. So there's one there. Oh, and I see there's another one on the beach down there. A retired professor, Kramer now monitors seabird fatalities in Victoria for Bird Studies Canada. So this is the species that people have been saying has been turning up dead quite often. And at least 20 have been found dead on Victoria beaches in the past week. That would be extremely unusual to find that n number of dead birds. And as Kramer combs the beach here, the number climbs even higher. It's all one species. From his first look, Kramer says the birds appear in good shape, like they aren't starving and like they died very recently. So there's something happening. Scientists say it's too early to tell if this is the beginning of a large die-off event. But since seabirds are an indicator of ocean health, what exactly has happened to these ones could be a sign of a much deeper problem. Well, that's the concern, is that this might be just the start of something that's larger and it's important to document at the, at the beginning. Well, it's a mysterious and disturbing discovery on Okanagan Lake. Scores of dead fish. The kokanee were first spotted a few days ago, and now provincial fisheries biologists are trying to determine the cause of the die-off. But as Blaine Gaffney reports, it isn't believed to be the result of human activity. We head out on the lake and notice the, uh, the kill-off of these, these fish, which we were quite alarmed. Thresher scoops some into a net. They're about uh, six inch uh, kokanee and they're uh, right across the lake, both sides, and uh, in masses. Thresher says the discovery was worrisome. Being startled and, you know, of course you immediately think that the lake's been poisoned or something, but then we realized that it was just this particular species of fish. They look fine. They look fine. Mm -hmm. Except yeah. that they're dead. <laughs> Except that they're dead, yeah, they're, but they're not scarred up. Provincial fisheries biologists haven't pinpointed the cause of the kokanee kill. Okay, Donnie, in a related story here tonight, a second fish kill of the year by mid-July now has a river keeper quite concerned tonight. This all started last week, and you can still see the hundreds of dead fish. We've seen a really interesting diversity of, of species. But he says the number could reach as high as one million. It worries me. You know, when we see our the fish kills becoming more severe, Tonight, a horrific discovery in this creek. Dozens and dozens of dead birds found along the banks. Heather, neighbors have no idea what's going on. They're trying to get to the bottom of this right now. Nancy Shinevere has lived along the creek for 11 years, some of her neighbors two decades longer. And no one remembers seeing birds dying in such large numbers. 
it's just nature and it's beautiful and when something like this happens it it's traumatic it's uh it's very upsetting floating ducks dying ducks ducks on the shore ducks everywhere they were dead Right now in Virginia Beach, some residents are wondering what killed hundreds of fish near the Stumpy Lake Spillway. Long sent 10 on your side photos after noticing them on an early morning run at the Virginia Beach Chesapeake line. I first noticed the stench when I was about halfway from that curve over there at El Elbow Road and it was just overwhelming and then I got here and I saw the many piles and I figured something was up. She'd never seen anything like it in her two years in the area. This is the fifth year of an ongoing drought, so we have very extreme fire behavior. I recognize for some of our citizens, they've seen fires before, but these are not normal times. I've been in the fire service for 38 years. We've never had this kind of experience in June and July, and that's a testimony to what we're going through. The fire is so intense, it's black in the skies of Los Angeles, more than 30 miles away. And can you imagine being stuck outside in this? The severe storms that just rolled through just over the Colorado border from Wyoming this week. This is home video of the storm shot by Terry Stagey. You can see his son running to move his pickup to protect it from the hail. As he drove it to the other side of the house, the heavens let loose. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, but longtime residents tell me it's the worst hailstorm they've ever seen. We've known for a long time that extreme events, especially with weather, have posed a risk to human property and societies and individuals. In recent years, though, the cost of these extreme events has been increasing fairly steadily. What we do know is that climate change is increasing the frequency or intensity of some types of extreme events. And in fact, previous reports here from the academies uh, reviewing literature have looked at the long-term trends and have concluded that heat waves are becoming more severe and that extreme rainfall events are increasing. And if any of you need to use the restrooms, and if you have any questions, go to the Philadelphia Convention where all the Democrats are. Well, there is some truth to that joke made by Governor Pat McCrory last night. The DNC is making sure members of the LGBT community are comfortable. Special bathrooms have been set up that will accommodate people who are transgender. This picture was posted on social media today. It's a sign for an all-gender restroom. According to CBS, 5% of the bathrooms at the DNC are set up this way. A spokesperson for the DNC says the Democratic Convention is committed to making this the most inclusive and engaging convention in history. Well, as it stands now, being transgender, according to the World Health Organization, is a mental illness, but that classification could soon change. The organization is preparing a new edition of the International Classification of Diseases, or ICD. We saw at the peak a 32.7% increase in homicides. 
on March 31st when I got my daily crime statistics. They were alarmingly bad. You know, we, we were seeing uh, crime numbers that we hadn't seen for a decade. Cynthia, shooting deaths are up 78% as compared to this time last year for police officers in Kansas City, Kansas. I don't think I realized that it had increased by that much um, in shooting deaths, but it does kind of make you think and say, hey, it's our nation is going through some things right now. Every week, pretty much something happens. If not, we have a lot of uh, rowdy behavior, um, people shouting at each other, fights out there. These are the worst increases in crime rates that we've ever seen. And some suburbs have been hit with uh, crime increases of 25% or more. Julie Comitos lived nearby for nine years. Her home was recently looted and she says crime in the area has never been this bad. It's devastating to come home and find yourself in that situation. You get that uneasy feeling around here now and you hear more and more often of different things happening. It's a sound we're used to hearing at airports and courthouses, but the Orange County Fair? Things have changed. The world has become a different place. This year, for the first time, everyone who walks into the OC Fair has to go through a metal detector and have their bags checked. It's so sad what's going on. It seems like every day you wake up and... There's more shootings going on. I'm concerned and I am looking around and I am a little bit more cautious of what's going on. We actually came out here and noticed that there's a lot of security out here and I think it's a safe environment. So when people go by now and see the Christian flag flying, all we were asking them to do is to take five to ten minutes and pray for our country, pray for our servicemen, pray for our police officers, pray for our firefighters, people that's there to protect me, you, and everyone around us. A message of love. Ross says is needed for any change to happen. Let's get back on track. Let's let's think of our neighbor. Let's love each other again. Quit the hating. The hating has to stop. Well, newer technology that uses fingerprints and scans of our eyes offers an easier way to keep your information secure and is becoming more widely used. If you have a pet, you may have gotten a microchip implanted in case they get lost or stolen. But now, believe it or not, humans are getting chips too. It's a science fiction scenario that has now come to life. Inside the airport, the gym, and every time you unlock your phone with your finger, there's new technology at work to verify your identity. Soon, your fingerprints, voice, and eyes will be the key to everything from your doctor's office to the ATM. Security experts say it's a problem that's only getting worse. You can always get a new credit card. You can always create a new password. Really hard to get new fingers, right? You only have 10 of them. And once that information leaks, it's out and there's nothing you can do.